Hey everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In this episode, we're going to go to the Trial Galaxies, which we may find great joy or great disappointment in. You may try free types of child. If you're truly the one who can save the universe, you will pass them all. And what do you have to say? The door to the trial has been restored. May the light of the cosmos be with you, brave challenger. Alright, so this is the Trial Galaxy planet from which we can get to the three galaxies that we have to do. I'm going to be starting off with the blue side, which heads to the Loopy Swoop Galaxy. Now, all three of these uh, Trial Galaxies all uh, hold versions of gimmicks we've seen before in other galaxies. For instance, the Loopy Swoop Galaxy is a play on the racer thing we saw back in the Terrace Dome, I think. And as you can see, this course looks and is much harder. And a bit of advice for when taking the uh, um, trials is there are going to be star bits on the course, ignore them. Except for these, these don't count because they're not actually on the course. <laughs> don't, forget, don't forget how to pilot the way, it could end badly. Yes, it can. Back for more race, I think. This course is a monster. You sure you want to try? I guess. Alright. Now, my practice recording, I actually got this on the first try. And if that's in any indication, that means I'm going to fail miserably this time. Alright. And, because they have so much confidence in us, they give you two one-ups right off the bat. The key to this course is just remembering that you can indeed slow down by letting go of A. You don't have really... Uh go at full speed the entire time, especially when making all those tight corners. I mean, you have three minutes, and it can be easily done in under a minute and a half if you're careful enough. Alright. You notice that the water starts getting skinny up here. You know, geez, that was close. Don't... Alright, here we have what this galaxy is named, the loop of the loopy swoop. Alright. We have jump number two. Oh, I missed the life there too. Oh well. Oh no! <laughs> Dang it. Oh well. I told you it wasn't going to be a perfect run like in my pocket recording. And I said I'm going to keep all of my deaths and all of my tries on these trial galaxies. Which may end up making this video kind of long. But oh well. It's for you. And because every LPO knows that fans like watching their the LPO mess up. More than they like him actually comp bleh, accomplishing things. This never makes the player feel good when you let us so many one ups on the course. It's like you don't have any confidence in them. It's like here, you're gonna need all these. Alright, back to the loop, which is about halfway done. A little bit more than halfway, actually. So we were actually pretty close to the end when we died down here. Wait, what's down here? Right. Careful. Careful. Yep! Wow! I was one turn away from the end. Ah, whatever. 106, which I think I got 105 in my practice, so, you know, whatever. I'll take two tries on the Loopy Swoop Galaxy. And with that, we have the first of the three, and probably the easiest of the three, Trial Galaxies out of the way. Alright, it's all good. Hmm. The next two galaxies, however, are on themes that are much more difficult. Because racing, you can pretty much do it if you're careful enough. But the next two, they take some more precision. Alright. So, back to the green launch star. And we're going to be taking on probably my least favorite of the trial galaxies, but the second easiest in my opinion. Or, 
second hardest because there's only three. The middle one, the Rolling Gizmo Galaxy, which is I play on the ball rolling from, I think, the Fountain Dome. Somewhere in there. Alright. Gizmos, gears, and gadgets. Pretty much, this, in, this one is all about being careful. There's going to be a lot of moving things that are trying to kill you, and it's your job to avoid it. Alright. So. Starting off here. We have a billboard, which is telling us uh, that you can get through the ball, get on it, and just reminding us how to use it. Alright, here we go. I mean, you can already see how you're already starting off on a pretty thin area and once again they give you a one up within like the first five seconds like these you have to jump run into to smash them as you do with these this they give you useless coins uh, and then you can hit this to make a bridge and then go smash this one for a hole and that part's the easy part and here you can just Go in the hole because it's random pointless coins. Alright. And here you must want to avoid the Goombas, avoid the star bits, and get them to here, and then get in the middle so that when it turns, you're not swept up your feet. And another free one up. Alright. Now you want to wait on this gear until the cube of steel stops. Pushing out, and then come like this onto this gear. Now you want to really be careful on this gear, because if the bomb bombs kill, get you, they will blow you up, and you'll go far, farther than you'll probably be able to recover from, and you'll be swept off the edge. All right here, we have to make some jumps with the ball, and then onto another automatic pot with these really kind of funny speed boosters. Alright, and the end is in sight. And there's some salvage for you. There are two, as you can see, question mark co uh, coins, but all they give you is regular pointless coins, so I wouldn't recommend actually trying to get them. Ignore the one up, jump up here, and go to the goal! Oh my god, I beat that on my first try. I'm usually not that good at ball rolling, but um, practice ones really do help. Because in my practice one, I died three or four times on this one. Anyway, with that, we got a 60th star, which is the halfway point for this game, actually. Because of all Mario, 3D Marios, there's 120 uh, regular stars or giant sprites or whatever they are in the representative game. And so 60 is obviously half of 120. For those of you who don't know me. Anyway. So, for the third galaxy, the green side, we have ball rolling. Not ball rolling. We just did ball rolling. Bubble blowing. Which I think was also from the fountain. Although it might have been from the kitchen dome. Not sure. And this one takes a long... This one can take a long time. Especially because of how careful you need to be with the bubble. Alright. So this part is split into two sections. The first section is a five pointed little maze like thing. You have five sections to go to, each section holds one piece of a launch jar. And each time you're gonna have to go through the bubbles. I recommend going to the top left first because it's Probably the hardest of the three. Three, five, sorry. The fi hardest of the five. Because of these moving electrical uh, walls. And since this is bubble blowing, one hit and you're dead. Because it'll pop the bubble and you'll be dead. Because you'll be falling into space. Alright, and, and there we go. See, like that. Already one death for this one. This one probably took me the longest for the uh, all three of them in the trial galaxy because of all the deaths. But
but at least it's near the beginning of the galaxy. It sucks when you get four out of five of the uh, launch star pieces and then die in the fifth one. Only you have to go and pick up all five again. So I'd rather have death now than death then. All right. You need to carefully navigate through these rotating circular electrical lines. And all these question mark coins, all, all they give you is coins, which are, again, pointless. So I recommend ignoring them at all costs. Alright. And at the end of each maze, there will be a launch star, or a sling star, which will bring you back to the main star. And now, since the other four of about the same difficulty, we're just going to go on a clockwise formation. Here at the top is probably the easiest, because all you have to do is avoid the electrical lines and these rotating platforms. And get up to the top, and there's your sling star. Alright, now it's for the top right. This is probably the only one you want to get the uh, question mark coin for, because it the coins it makes is actually a really good path to follow to get to the uh, launch shell piece. Because, well, there's the launch shell piece, and then continue following the uh, coin trail, and it'll lead you to a. Uh, Starbits, and then to the launch star in the safest way. Oh, sling star. Alright, now for the bottom right. Uh, all you have to do here is uh, dodge these bouncing electrical balls. Pick up the launch star piece. Don't go in there for the coins because it's really hard to get out of or into, and coins all with it. Alright, here you just have to time these, get through, and your sling star. Alright, and the final piece in the bottom left, we have a slightly different layout. This time, instead of going through the maze and at the end getting the sling star, you have to go in through these fire shooters to get the launch star piece, and then back out to get to the sling star. Alright, and with that, we got a launch star back at the main part. Again, don't bother getting the question mark coin, all it does is give you regular coins. And go back through the fire shooters, which again are instant death. I don't know how fire popped the bubble. Because Pokemon physics type physics told us that bubbles are water and fire doesn't do good against water! Get into it! Oh my god. That was close. Actually didn't die. I'm getting hit. That would have been terrible if I would have already unlocked the launch star and died right there. Alright. Now here's the second part of the uh, galaxy, which is more of a straightforward shot for much more hazards. However, you get a uh, checkpoint there, so that's good. This is the only of the three galaxies that has a checkpoint. Anyway, here we're going to have board bills chasing us pretty much the entire time unless you can get them to blow up into something. Which is, as you're running from them, kind of hard to do and get away from me! Ah! Of course, now you blow up. Alright. Well, I'm not too phased by that death, because at this point, we already have a checkpoint, we haven't been really that far into this section, so, it's alright. And I like how they contrast this section to the uh, first section, because the first section we really wanted to be really careful. But this one, you have to run from the Boa Bills, so you really have to be pretty fast. You just have to keep going. And going in the stall bits again, because they'll just slow you down, and slowing you down means getting hit by a Boa Bill. And getting hit by a Boa Bill means death. death. Alright. Now this will start the last run, in which pretty much you're going to have... Many, 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 many boy bills coming after you. Alright, and just keep going. And eventually, you get to this section. And just ignore the star bits, get the star. And with that, we've gotten the last of the trial galaxy stars. And I can be done with these three galaxies. Alright. So, now that those are out of the way, 
we can go back to the bedroom for next episode and hopefully get just about done there. Alright. So next time, I'll be back in the bedroom dome, going back to the desert to finish it up there, then going to that question mark galaxy, and if there's time, taking on Bowser. See you guys next time.